Hey you guys, it's girl, the camera's all wiggly. It's time for another chit chat, chit chat. I got my notes here, girl. So y'all, it is mid-October. Let me put my pink purple lipstick on. Mid-October. Um, I surprised you have what is it? Girl, I was just interrupted by you know who child. Y'all, I really do miss my me time. I'm sorry, but baby, I was by myself. Y'all have to understand, I had JB pretty late. I'm 40, 40 years old with a seven year old child. So I'm used to, and then my husband has a schedule to where he's never home. So I'm one of those people that's used to being by themselves. So I don't need you up in, I'm not used to that still. It's, it's been nearly eight years and I'm just not used to this still. <laughs> I know, I know some of y'all are like, girl, you need to get used to it by now. You need to get over it. I do. But you know what's so funny? We'll get to this chit-chat, y'all. Um, I was watching Discovering Natural, one of her videos, and how she was stating how there was a couple of things that she wished she would have done. I don't know. And I don't know exactly what verbiage she used, but basically she wished there were things she would have done before she either got married or have children. And I think one of those things is traveling by herself. I will say I am so glad I did so many things before I officially got married and before I had children and that includes traveling by myself um I went to restaurants by myself you know I I did me you know what I mean um I have no regrets I went to clubs I hung out at clubs I you know I basically lived my life like, why am I talking about that Anyway, so y'all, y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's in these YouTube streets. Well, we talk about what's going on in my personal life, what's in these YouTube streets, and what I've been watching for a change. Girl, I've been watching a lot of TV, so we're gonna get into that. So y'all, personal life, going girl. Christine decided to be on PTO this week, y'all. So thank the Lord. I've been praying, 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 y'all. I've been really, I've been really um, specific what I'm praying about now. And it has been a quiet knock on wood, knock on fat. It's been a relatively quiet week for me to be by myself and homeschooling and you know stuff going in the household. Um, so thank God for that. Y'all, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups now that are more catered towards homeschooling. And let me tell you, we still have our ups and downs when it comes to, you know, dealing with JB at home, but I am forever grateful that we don't have some of these people issues because baby, some of these folks, the issues that they be posting, I'm like, I'm good. We're good. Cause I was going to, you know, write a post asking for advice and I'm like, oh no, y'all got some serious, cause they're dealing with children that have sensory issues, you know, ADD, not to say, not to downplay, you know, us dealing with JB, but we can deal, the stuff that they're dealing with is like, I'm like, wow, wow, and multiple children. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, I just got one. So we good, okay, we good, we're gonna pray. And yeah, it's been a good two weeks. <laughs> We've had our moments, but I, I can honestly say these two weeks have been good. Now my husband been getting on my nerves, girl. He off this week too. Girl, the first thing we did is go to Trader Joe's. And so he's loading up his basket, loading up the basket. And the man in front, I'm in line, right? We see my husband and JB in front of us. They're in the you know alcohol line, lo loading up a uh, wine. And the man in front of me doesn't know that Alex is my husband. He turns around and he says, looks like somebody's gonna have a party. And I said, sure does, dang. <laughs> that was so funny. So anyway, yeah, we just drink wine. We don't drink it all the time, y'all. But you know, have a nice glass of wine with our food. So anyway, so home life is busy, going good, work is good. You know, busy, busy, busy. We are implementing a new system, which has been going to be busy. By the time I lo load up this chit chat, I would have had a vlog, girl. That vlog was the person that hell is hell. I watched it, and it was rough, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. It was very rough when we first started homeschooling, and I anticipate that we will have some ups and downs. But overall, I am healthy. Can you see the joy in my skin, baby? I haven't even been following my regimen, but my skin been looking good. I, no makeup on, honey. No. Oh, I got some lipstick on. So I do need to schedule a me time. I do need to schedule some time to myself. I have been getting up early. Child, I forgot my book, y'all. I forgot my book. I was gonna read y'all a quote. Oh, quotes. Well, hell, let me just share with y'all one of my favorite quotes, okay? So it's very short. Even in the darkness, you can still see the stars. 
Okay, that's one of my favorite quotes, all right? So y'all, um, what else is going on personal? We're gonna be getting carpet soon. I picked it out, it's cute, whatever. <laughs> It is what it is. This room is going to be cleared out. I saw my husband in here looking around, scratching the stomach. I'm like, if you don't get your ass. Yes. It's about, look, this, this is what he was looking at. Look, can, you, can we zoom in? This, that's what he was looking at, girl. All that over there. Yes. It's a lot of stuff. I will take care of it. Mama, Mama's going to get it together because we had our house painted earlier this year and we were, was it this year i don't remember girl but i had to move all this stuff out of here too yeah so we're gonna get get it together um it is what it is y'all i've been doing so good with my nails i mean i've been getting compliments on my nails and these are my fall nails isn't this cute girl isn't this cute so we got an orange we got a mustard we got a, a red we got a gold we got a, a gold and red so it's kind of messy so don't get too close girl but this is the beetles this this is the beetles gel and the nails are a little short than i typically go for but it's cute yeah mama's been getting compliments on her nails when i'm out and i'll be the first one to say they're like oh your nails get like thank you girl i did it myself girl the cute hunt <laughs> i know i'm silly um so yeah y'all nails carpet homeschool it is what it is and believe you me y'all i won't be telling y'all about homeschooling with every chit chat because i know some of y'all don't care about that and i don't blame you hell so um youtube have y'all been noticing the ex why am i whispering have y'all been noticing the exodus of natural hair youtubers yes i jotted down a couple of na uh, names but i've been noticing a lot more youtubers who are and if, uh, the one thing they say when they're announcing how the content on their channel is changing is that I'm more than just my hair, which is absolutely true. And especially if you've been making videos, I'm going to say if you've been making hair videos for more than five years, it's going to get a little old, y'all. It really is. So a couple of people I've noticed who have been um, doing more than just hair videos are um, Busby. She's been really venturing out and doing um she did a clean with me video i think she cleaned her uh her kitchen girl i looked at that video twice i was inspired to not do a damn thing like i was like god dang she's cleaning the cabinets i said i think i was eating too i was watching it like it was a damn movie i'm like wow she's really cleaning i'm not gonna do nothing <laughs> Now, those videos, I love cleaning videos, and they're supposed to be, you know, to motivate, to motivate you to get your butt up. It doesn't really motivate me. I I just like watching people clean, I guess. So, yeah, Busby is kind of venturing out, adding different type of content on her channel. Um, I know Lee announced uh it would have been a couple of weeks by now anoli announced that she's venturing away from natural hair nappy had her hobo we already knew but she officially announced like a couple of weeks ago that she's done um kamaga yvonne and so yeah you guys and of course me now i'm not gonna say that the biggest thing that's gonna be happening on my channel is that i won't be doing product reviews after this year but girl yeah i'm still gonna be doing hair videos it just it just won't be as much does that make sense y'all so maybe uh um my updated regimen updated wash day um what i'm using because i do change my products you know depending on what's going on with my hair or you know how i'm going to be styling my hair or maybe i'll go back and reuse a product i haven't used in a while speaking of y'all do any of y'all remember bio infusion products that was sold exclusively at walgreens those products were the shits back then i remember using a curl pomade and they had a hair serum it reminded me very similar of jane carter products but cheaper believe they were cheap. no they weren't cheaper they weren't cheaper I, sh I shouldn't say that but i found them on amazon baby i swiftly it said five products left i was like by now i went ahead and i will be reintroducing it on my channel because i absolutely love that curl pomade and i was a uh, uh, heartbroken when walgreens stopped selling the line itself so anyway y'all just got off on a tangent so yep i noticed an exodus of natural hair youtubers and i've overall the natural hair community we all know this has definitely changed a lot on youtube um and I don't really see too many new people coming in anymore. Have y'all, do y'all see any new people coming in? For a while there, I felt like going natural was a trend. 
um, claiming for type was a trans girl. That would piss me off. As soon as I click on the video and I see you all of 3C, 4A. No, it's mostly 4A. Like, why are you claiming? This is one of the reasons why I just say 4 type at this point. Because uh, I have a mixture of um, 4 hair, 4 type hair. But don't be claiming you all of 4C and you're not. Now, there's someone who is, she's a well-known. God, who was it? Actually, I know who it is. I'm not going to say who it is. And she, she's a smaller YouTuber, but she has high views. And she does, well, I don't think she does anymore, but she was claiming 4C and she's not 4C. She's 4A, 4B. But hey, this is one of the reasons why I try to stay away from typing hair because you never know, okay? So moving on from YouTube, y'all. Um, oh, actually, let me, let me pause, pause. One vlogger who I absolutely love and I binge watch her videos, I cannot wait when she posts, is I Am Sharika. She is a mukbanger. She does mukbangs with her um, husband sometimes and I love that she does a story time. And typically her story times are um, um, stuff she's been watching on Fatal Attraction or For Your Man. Y'all know that's right up my alley. I know some of y'all watch those shows too. So her name is I Am Sharika and I will be posting the link to her channel below along with her mukbang if you're into that. Now she does a lot of seafood and all that. I'm allergic to all that girl but I still be watching people be looking good as hell. She's based out of Florida. She's an older YouTuber but she has um she has a young modern swag. I don't know how old she is, but she does have a child in her 20s. Um, and then she has a child who I believe he's like 12, 13 years old. He may not even be that old, but I love her style. She has a very grown up style. Um, I also appreciate that she, girl, I never see her slipping in her vlog. She has her face. I'm done and it may be like a neutral beat but it's so cute she's always so well put together she's a professional and I just really like her content I really do right now she's well she may be doing it for a while she's really big into decorating so y'all check her out I really do like her um all right girl so what I've been watching on TV girl everything the other day I caught the third installment of the bad boys um movie what was it called y'all bad boys for life um it just wasn't as good as the other two. And I really didn't and I really did not expect it to be, but it was one of those type of movies to where I stopped watching it and picked it up later on cuz I just lost interest, y'all. But I saw it on did I watch it on HBO? I think I saw it on HBO. It was okay, okay. Will Smith still looks good to me. Girl, he does. He looks good. He may not be able to run, be able to run the same, but he he still is a, a very attractive man in my opinion. Um so yeah. Yeah, guess what I've been watching? Girl, I don't know why I started watching this again. The Parkers. So the Parkers and Girlfriends are back on Netflix. I love me some Candace Vaughn. Don't walk away from me. You need to change. I'm purposely sounding bad. I can't sing, but I'm purposely. You need to change your life. What, how does it go? Have I ever, ever, ever left you? Would you care for me? Wifey, did you heard about me? I don't know the words. <laughs> I love that song, y'all. Now, I'm not making fun of her. I love, I actually like that song. I know, I like that song. I love that video. I think the video is hilarious. C Candace has his song about her being a wife and child. So, I, from, on, from what I understand, her voice is getting back better. Now, um, does she have some type of growth or something on her throat and it caused her to have a raspiness? And I think that's due to her thyroid, right? She's She has thyroid issues. Um, I love Candace. I loved her from 227. I loved her on some of these reality shows she did. I know she's had some several issues, but I just like her, her personality overall. So anyway, I was watching the Parkers while I'm watching the Parkers, rewatching it from season one and on, girl. Um, The Walking Dead, I started watching that again. Girl, spoiler. I was not expecting, again, spoiler. I was not expecting for Beta to be killed off like that, like that. I really wasn't expecting him to be killed off so fast. And where y'all, so is it me? Cause when he was killed, right? And Negan was like, do you know who that asshole was? So I think he was someone popular in their world. Like was he some type of rock star or something? I remember in one of the previous episodes, another person recognizing him and he killed the person who recognized him if I remember correctly, Beta did. Um, so yeah, he has, he was apparently like a celebrity, a celebrity or a rock star in their world. Now I'm not watching that new 
girl it's giving me harry potter with um descendants with some zombies i guess they're kids i don't know if it's a few years after the walking dead i'm nosy looking at my neighbors oh they go to ridgeline i shouldn't say oh they go to my kids school yeah i don't know if it's a few years after the walking dead but i'm not walking i'm not watching that yeah mm -mm, no nah, i'm not watching that kitty walking walking dead that's what, that's what we're gonna call it call it um Disney World Walking Dead. We're not watching that. So let me say this. I did see the preview for the next The Witches with Olivia Spencer and the girl from um The Devil's World Prada. The Devil World's Prada. They really need to stop remaking these movies, y'all. The Witches is a classic. No one can pull off that the grand high like Angelica. Was it Angelica Houston? No one can do that. Anyway, so yeah, The Witches is being remade and I guess it's streaming coming up soon here in a couple more weeks. So yeah. So yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm watching The Parkers, watching The Walking Dead. I just started watching The Curse of Bly Manor. Y'all, at first I was like, okay, so what? Two kids, orphan kids. We're gonna have a nanny come in. Yeah, she's gonna be spooked out. Same old storyline. No. Well, it is the same old storyline, but it is disturbing. Like the first scene, the ending of the first scene, I was like, I, ooh, I was scared. I was really scared. So yeah, the, the hunting of Bly Manor. Um, I think another one, they, they have all this scary stuff coming up for, for Halloween, right? They have another one on there called Evil. I may have to check that out, maybe not. Um, there is a couple of things I added to my list on Netflix that I'm gonna have to watch. But yeah, yeah, that's what I'm watching. And of course, Happy Place. I love the Happy Place, y'all, with Ted dancing with his fine self. <laughs> y'all, I love, I love me some salt and pepper, but he got all salt, that's okay. Um, yeah, I like me some Ted dancing. I, I like I like the Happy Place. And one of, you, one of you is correct. Like, you can watch the Happy Place with anyone around because there's no cursing. There's no nudity. There's no, it's just a good, clean show. And I really do appreciate that. So, yeah, watching that. So, that's it, y'all. I wanted to do a really quick chit-chat to have some more content in between this. Now, look, all of this stuff, I feel like I keep saying this, so... I am busy. I am still very busy. But mama was still pushing out content. Y'all just didn't know about it. That's what you do when you go on break. You still record stuff, edit it at your own pace, and then schedule it. So, I kid you not, I have stuff scheduled now until December. So, y'all should be good. But please bear with me. It may take me a couple of days, a couple of hours to respond to comments, to like a comment. Because I try to like or love every comment. Um, and I try to reply back if i can especially if you have a question i try to respond um but yeah y'all that's what's going to be going on be anticipating all of these new um reviews but baby it's ending but yeah y'all so i will see you guys hopefully i'll be able to chit chat with y'all in like two more weeks okay bye